Hello and welcome to my show, Radiohead Channel. We're going to play some Minecraft today and it's going to get crazy. So get ready. I know I am. I'm totally ready. All I want is for us to play Minecraft. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. <sighs> well, we're gonna dig deep and maybe go to the other island today. Build a school or a church. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of what we need. Maybe a church. I don't like school and I don't want to go back there. I definitely don't want to have to go. Uh, it sure does feel nice being back home. What happened? Is there some kind of... Did somebody join? No, it doesn't look. That was just something weird I did right before I logged, probably. Well, I don't see any of the NPCs that I spawned. Well, I don't see anything. Well, that's it for the jail. I think we're going to go build a church. I already have an island picked out for the church. It's actually, that island or that island? Or it could be that island. I'm not really sure. One of those islands is, is a great island for a school or a church. Let's go over there. Sandy Beach, a nice inlet, and uh, another one. Let's see how deep it is. Wow. Now that, my friends, is a drop off. Underwater zombies. Hey, look at that. A dolphin. I should you know dolphins. I could swim all day here in Atlantis. Oh, that's right. We're building the Atlantis jail. I forgot. All right. Well, we have the jail for our land dwellers. We'll build the, ch the, the school later over here. Maybe the church. And. uh this is more of a party area than a jail, but it doubles as a bedlam uh, arena. Pretty much bedlam. Uh, that's why I'm gonna respawn. It did have all beds, but kind of re resuscitate the bedlam. Let's see. Uh, where are those bed guys? I never know. I'm not good at this game. Alright, let's do. Boom. Cyan. Alright. I just like it. Looks more bedlam. Or it looks more beyond, really. The red were pretty bedlam. But maybe it'll look less like jail and more like something spacey and cool. You know, you gotta. What? It's saying, oh, you can listen. You gotta really populate the area. Alright, that's all we got, because. 
The thing is, it's bouncy, so you can go. Right here. You see that cyan patch? Ooh, ah, I missed it. Anyway, and then you bounce. What the freak? I guess this NPC's destroyed my property. I don't know why we let him do that. Try to jump again. Boom! See, it makes you bounce. That's the cool thing about beds. That's the cool thing about beds. Alright. We have work to do. Crash in my apartment. I've got a desk up here for my mouse hand. Okay, now all we need is the Atlantis part of our jail. This is the security area when things get a little bit crazy at night. Ugh. I was looking at the wrong screen. That looks like the pyramids. Wow, dude. All right, so Atlanta, okay, so this is the party area for the land animals. This is going to be the ocean creature area. Now, we've got one bed, two bed, three bed, four, five bed, six bed, seven bed, more. If you catch my drift. Now this is bed long, so there has to be a lot of beds. And this also helps us give a lot, kind of a nice area for our plane to lay out what's going to go down today on this server of ours. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm happy with it. What we're going to do is we're going to build these walls up. that's going to do is that's going to trap that water, which we then going to drain. I wish I was better at this. drain it with all the surrounding water but I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down Building walls and stuff in Minecraft is really relaxing and it it's it's a lot easier than building straight houses and shit. Like the dimensions aren't even right to build houses. This is like a castle mode type of building. 
platform, not a fucking architecture design school. Sometimes you gotta destroy the world to create. Alright. There. It's our walls. She holds in all this water. Which we're actually gonna drain. And possibly fill. Remove the bed temporarily. This is like playing, uh, like in Twist a Lot. What is it called? Etch a Sketch. Now, if the water level doesn't lower, I don't know what this game is all about, to be honest. <coughs> we lost a lot of good beds today. I don't think the water level is going to fucking freaking lower. I guess it's presumably seeping into the... have our little hell base over here. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh yeah, it's the Atlantis gel. Okay. That's cool. 
Now we need our trusty glass. I love the glass. We do everything in glass. Just build a whole glass castle. Glass castle. Alright, now since we couldn't get the water level lower, we are going to still try. <laughs> I've never watched like a YouTube building guy, but I'm pretty sure this is how to do it. Okay, now we have sealed the deal. take you to jail. I don't know. I thought this was the jail. This is security up here, so that's what kind of started the whole jail. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, anyway. You get over here, you're like, woo, beyond, bed, bath, and beyond. And you go down here, you're like, oh, it's a pyramid too, or something. I don't know. You get in trouble with some mobs. And, uh, break the rules. See the police come in and uh, tell you that you have to go to the Atlantis jail because you've broken the rules. So, yeah, I mean, it happens all the time on this server. In fact, you could just sort of say that's how the server was designed. Sorry guys. Alright, this is the tomb, right? Well, we're gonna spawn a bunch of skeleton horses. What did I just do? Oh, I got lost. Or something. No. It's just out of chaos. Alright, cool. You can't kill skeleton horses. You can only ride them. Oh my god, you can ride skeleton horses. Now that is what that is now. Sound like it's just well familiar. That is what that is now. Oh my god, you so many new trends. You're such a trendsetter. That was all I knew, brother. Oh god, I just flooded the fucking stable. It's a stable. This is a stable now, I still sound like it's well familiar. Alright. Oh, did this thing swim? Alright, let's see what the kind of damage we do. Never knew the horses were this cool. Minecraft, sorry. Alright, over here we have order and principles, virtues. Not chaos. I gotta get off. 
stuff on the horse. And I'm making more horses trying to get out. Oh my god, this is how everything should be. <laughs> I still sound like a 12th grader. Alright. Really, <laughs> really mature to me. Yeah, I know. Because every time I hear somebody say, you're so mature, I just think, wow, that's such a conscientious way to sarcastic way that I'm trying to figure out That big of a deal. I hope this is a path to the Atlantis. Oh, shit. See, that's the thing of having an, an archipelago map. Is uh, there's water everywhere, and there's not much land. You can flood your ship. I have just. I don't know how the water really works. I guess. I guess you gotta go downstream. I mean, down vertically. For water to flow. I, can't, I don't know how to get off of this thing, dude. Oh, there we go. Cat sneak. Oh, it's fresh. Ooh, a little dolphin area. What was I thinking? Alright, well, it looks like a waterfall. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you liked the stuff. I gotta kill my bandwidth. I pay for this guy's server. I don't do it again. I guess. Geico over here. Riding a horse. Joseph's Is this called being the dead horse? I don't even have to say anything. I mean, the ironic part is that in my mind, I'm literally saving money right now. Like, Transactions on the server console, but designed to like every single unit of CPU second time is charged down to a fraction of the space. So, the more that I let these fucking horses in, especially if I don't play and I don't play, this shit does cost money, you know? So, this is kind of like going the law on. I want to leave one down. Well, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for watching my show. And I hope you guys have fun. Hello, and welcome to my show, Radiohead Channel. Here we are, of course. In the space universe. <sighs> Plenty of time on our hands. All sorts of things to do. <sighs> We're ready. Ready to rock. In our bedlam world. <sighs> Man, I'm ready. As well. <clears throat> as you are. Alright, well, we're in space, okay? There's our bed. We're in an asteroid or something. I'm not really sure. But we've been here for a while. <coughs> All we have are these plants. So, let's get going. Let's plant. Let's do some planting. I like the dandelion. Alright, moving on. There is a zombot. Okay. 
I found this area. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Anyway, we're in space. That means anything can happen. We could lose gravity. We get lost forever. We get sucked into a black hole. I don't know if there's any black holes in Minecraft. But if there are, we better watch out. Cause I don't know where I'm going. I hope I can escape. I've been down here for a very, very long time. Just planting things. And sleeping. It would be nice if I could find the exit. Yay! There's the sun! We made it! So basically, I'll show you how I got there. Now, if you remember the Atlantis Jail, that's for fishies. That means we, we're going to put the dolphins and everything in the jail. Great idea, right? I thought so, too. Oops. I got stuck in a Darth Vader cave. Alright. <sighs> Man, this space world is kind of different. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to hurt its feelings or nothing. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I was just in here in the space in Atlantis jail for fishies. And, uh, I looked. And I realized that if you go over here, look at all these prisoners, super criminals. You go down here, boom, you're under in a cave system. Oh God, it was just like, it was almost like my jail was made huge without me having to build anything. So now I have plenty of space for those fish bastards. All right. Well, I designed this so it would be hard for fishies to escape. Now, it seems as if there is a new development over in this area as well. If I recall correctly. I get stuck in this pool all the time. It's like a death trap. Alright. <clears throat> Seems drier over here. Okay, so it looks as if all the way around dark over here now. Anyway, seems as if we have some new tree friends. Look at that beauty. He reaches all the way up to the first diving pole, which means that we have an even higher place to jump from. Whoa! Boom! Nice. So we got some new trees growing and uh, other than that with our expanded jail with the underground system I almost I just feel like our first island is complete you know what I mean I just so yeah Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a new island and we're gonna build a school or a church. Uh, it's gonna be on the same map and the same server. I'm just gonna make everything look a little bit different. I'm gonna make everything look 
plastic. And that's because I'm a sociopath. And I like plastic shit. <sighs> Alright, back to the dark, dark Microsoft server. You know, this is hosted on Microsoft Cloud. Anyway. Let's get a little bit closer to the microphone. Make sure everybody can hear us. So, should we build a church or a school? Uh, or should we expand the jail? What do you think we should do? Be players? Church or school or expand the jail? I don't know. See down here we could do like a path to the jail. Obviously a good investment. Um, but that's it's about as far away as you could be. Man, there's a lot of trees. So you gotta go down here and you gotta because most of the cave system runs this way there and now actually out here so it kind of goes there but to the right of here this way down under and right so if we ended up trying to connect it we would have to go from here over to this beach and then figure out where it connects in this area. So, to the jail. And then by the time you connect over here, you might as well just connect down here. To the viewing area where you can watch all those little fishy squirm. Which I love to do. Look at them. Gosh. I guess I really haven't showcased the jail yet. There's fish, and they're stuck there forever in the jail. So, it is an Atlantis jail, just as advertised. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Oh no, I got trapped in my own prison. But, uh... Whew! Yep, that, this is, this is going to be part of the jail from now on. And, uh... It goes all the way down here. Of course, you saw me escape from its clutches. But basically, this could all be some type of weird jail minigame or cell type of thing. Jail cell. And, uh... Basically, what that means is that, uh... We could make this whole bedlam thing like a fucking... Where did I come from? I came from over there and I came out over here. So yeah, we can make this whole bedlam thing like a jail mini game extravaganza type thing. There is a prison server that's a public server and it's got thousands of players. I'm gonna check it out and see what types of things they have going on. And uh, yeah. But next up is sea turtles and dolphins. <clears throat> now I bet you didn't think that saving the sea turtles would be something that would be worth it. By the way, my mask kind of smells like a sea turtle. Uh, but sea turtles are very uh, rare and endangered and they barely mate. So watching those motherfuckers fuck... No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, watching those turtles reproduce is such an important thing we have to do to make sure their genes continue and they live for so long so it's worth it dolphins and sea turtles and dolphins are highly intelligent so here we go now see this is kind of a weird dynamic because up here you have the sea turtles who can't get out right they're stuck down here 
you have the dolphins similarly cannot get out and are stuck. Which actually the dolphins can get out, but they can't get to the ocean. Because they can go through the escape where we go through. And there is an ocean escape, I think, is right here. But, I mean, they're not going to be able to do that. Oh, no, anyway, I blocked it off. So, yeah. I should kind of fix it. Just so that I have an emergency. That's not going to help the dolphins. Now we get to watch the chaos. Look, and you can see the dolphins down there. You can't see the dolphins. See them? Uh huh. Now, if that's not an Atlantis jail, I don't know what is, and that is what that is. So, as advertised, man, it's just so great. Look at them all. I wish there was some way to feed them or something. See, look, there's the dolphins down there. The dolphins die. They just explode. I don't know, because they're too intelligent, probably. I don't know if the sea turtles explode. The sea turtles are hard to kill. Alright. Well. It's only been 13 minutes. I have 10 more minutes to go. Dang. The sea turtles kill a zombie. <sighs> I could build a small church or something. Isn't that cool how I have all that jail area and it's, and it happened to be connected right where I planted this little volcano thing. That that magenta stuff is the security glass so nobody walks up. And, uh, yeah, and it connects all the way through, all the way down here and over here. I think the archipelago could be one huge prison. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of ocean life, so I think this could make us a lot of money, but we're not in it for the money. We're in it for the America. All right. Let's see if I can get out through here. I had a little bit too much fun today. Um... Where's the original Bedlam house? I love that thing. You know, I never spend any time there. I'm gonna set my respawn point right there. This is the. This is right where you spawn. This is right where I spawn, and I, I'm sure it is because I placed the bed there. And uh, then I went up, and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna build the highest thing I can." I didn't get very far. I built this all the way up here, and. Uh, put the second bed and then I recorded it but I ended up planting a bunch of trees and they grew and I was really impressed so I went through and I did a second level of dirt you can see the dirt and then I planted trees on that dirt so now we've got this tree this is the highest tree except for this well yeah well it's the highest one and this one's the second highest that's from the dirt too, and I came out of the dirt that I planted over here in the treetop. So I went on both sides with the trees. See, we got them all the way over here, all the way over here, because I wanted it to be like super crazy, so that you could go boosh. And when you were in here, you could look up and it'd be all trees. So yeah, that's the server. I hope you guys liked it and uh, I'm gonna make a little movie a video game or something I don't know it's gonna be crazy though so uh, the only problem with this game is I'm not very good at it so no, <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that but uh, yeah good game overall 10 out of 10 I love this game whatever it's called mine shafted or something 
What do I want to fight? Hmm. How about... How about a bunch of zombies? A bunch of zombies. Alright, shit. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna turn it on survival. I can't handle that 30 degrees. I'm sorry. Maybe if I was filming. Let's just do 70. That's the intended. Alright. I'm on the horse, which is good. I'm gonna go up here and turn it on survival. Try to fight these guys. can't tell if I'm underwater or not. Okay. Oh shit, they're on fire somehow. I don't know what caught them on fire. Well, I'm gonna die. Huh, <laughs> there goes all my armor. Oh shit. Now it keeps your stuff. There's just way too many of them. You pick it up. Oh god. I just figured out the bedlam. This is the bedlam. Oh no. This is how you this is how you really screw your mind up. Now there is a diamond sword in here somewhere, but he's probably being held by a zombie with diamond armor. Oh my god. Let's change the uh, settings. Oh, I should I should have known. All right, this will be a lot easier. All right, let's find that sword, man. Ah. Okay, has it returned? Is that a helmet? Uh, I can spawn a dolphin. Great. That's going to help me. Where's the sword? Where's all the zombies? Oh, I know what happened. They all disappeared because I changed the difficulty. <laughs> Alright, well. At least we know the bed lawn now. I'm going to do another bed lawn simulation with a different... With a different mob. And, uh, we'll see if it's just crazy or if it's actually fun. So I call it the Bedlam simulation technique. Alright. So. We're going to get good at combat, that's for sure. Because those beds... <laughs> those beds make bunny hopping a little bit difficult. Oh, we're still in survival mode. See, when you die, you lose all of your equipment. <laughs> so, yeah. Not exactly what you would expect. Actually, it's like that in every game, but... 
let's fix the helmet too. Let's get the best helmet. Alright. Now we got the diamond sword. Let's pick up all the junk. Alright. Now. I really want to start up here. Maybe you can't spawn zombie on peaceful. Ah. Alright. Well now I know how to get rid of all the mobs in a second. Where's that fire coming from? The torches? For me to try to kill. I wonder what's catching them on fire. I guess those torches catch them on fire. I mean, those lamps. Now, I haven't died once, so I guess you can't call it the bed long. I'm glad I installed those vines earlier. I kind of went through a whole Tarzan vine moment over the whole map and just laid vines everywhere. Like, And I was going to start recording then and start off as Tarzan. It was pretty fuck freaking cool. Because you can climb on vines, and if you're jumping around, the... Uh, Vines or help you climb on, over thing on top of it. So. Hard to kill all these zombies, man. There's a lot of them. I only right clicked a, several, a few several times. <laughs> That's not even the same kind of zombie I got. Bluer. Oh, anyway, I'm zoning out, but uh, I need to figure out. Ah, you can't get rid of the campfire. Okay, yeah, you can. Here it goes. Okay, what else do I have in my inventory? There. Okay. I'm just slow in uh, survival, for sure. I killed most of them. I mean, that's good enough. <sighs> it's cathartic. That's what this game is all about is relaxation. So, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to my show, Radiohead Channel. Well, not much is going on today. Just got married and uh, we went off to Canada. And there was an island and in a lake. And on the lake island, there were blueberries. I know. It was amazing. 
Those blueberries are so good. Oh, there's my wife and my bed. See, only one person can sleep on beds at a time in Minecraft. That's why even if you're married, you have... Oops. You have to f have two beds. She could have fallen through that hole. Well, anyway, I wonder where my wifey went. Maybe she went over here to check out the blueberries. Wow, what a view. This island sure is nice. <clears throat> I wonder where my wife is. Maybe she climbed up in that tree. Hmm. plant some seagrass. Oh, there's no dirt. There's a patch of dirt. You know, I like to make the environment real good for my wife. That's not dirt. Yes, it is. And even though it's really crazy, we're married now, so there's like no problems. We're the king of the whole island, man king and queen so yeah it's been really great and she's just so funny <laughs> well I shouldn't say funny I mean well she's so cute yeah, we'll just leave it at that and now that we have this really cool little now that we have this really cool little sh love shack up here that I built of course <laughs> is Minecraft. Uh, we have thought about having children. <laughs> I know. And um, so, yeah, let us let us take a little walk out here and see if we run across my darling wife. Uh, see if she's uh, over here on the deck. Hmm. Where are you? Let's check the Bedlam house. Ah, uh, it sure is a beautiful day today. And I just like to think all of my viewers are special, each one of them. Uh, Especially you. And so, oh, there she is. Hold on. That's not her. Where's my wife? Is she in this cave? Is that her? Hello, are you my wifey? Hello? That kind of looks like her, but I forgot what color she was. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Uh, where the- oh, that's a salmon. Oh. Hello? Are you- that's a salmon. Are you my wife? Are you my wife? Are you my wife? I know I married one of these calves. Let's see what those three horses are doing over there. Why can't I ride you? This is prop. Wow, you know what? I just had a good idea. I could marry all of these cats. The jokes just write themselves. Alright, let's get out of this freaking area that I craftily designed in my drunken mastermind to stay high behind. Okay, so here we go. It looks like I have a new.
favorite thing to do in Minecraft, okay? Get ready. It is to walk around and I'll tell you what, once I see signs of Oh my god, I mean a jeeper. Well, I just went in a big circle, okay? Anyway, I'll tell you what I've been doing as soon as I run across it. Because I don't want to spoil the surprise. You, 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 you. You have reached your destination. All right. Oh, hey, baby. Here we go. Hold on. See, it's a vast network of mazes and jails so uh just every once in a while to just get a good look at things now you get lost there we go i have a new favorite thing to do in minecraft as you can tell clearly it's plant bamboo ah ha 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 yeah i'm hilarious but uh yeah so oh shit the uh, bamboo doesn't always grow, apparently, and sometimes it grows super tall, but uh, it's everywhere now. I'm sorry I took over with it. So, I'm not really interested in it right now, it's just my favorite. Uh, I'm looking for some companionship. Where's my baby? Hello? Oh, there she is. Oh, uh, another salmon. Jesus, there's a lot of sand. I think they've been reproducing. Alright. Well, space has been great so far. I want to go to the bedlam, man. Look at all these sweet looking honeys. It's hopping. Alright, so yeah, this is a cool spot. This is where I really hang out, get drunk, and high. But, uh, you know, I don't see any uh, cats or nothing. Wait, I hear them. Where are they all? What if there was like a little refugee cave for cats over here or something? Oh my freaking gosh, there is, and I've already been here. Oh man, I could have just jumped up here and. Why did I... I went all the way around and drove a pole up a tree. And I could have just walked over here and jumped up the steps and been in bed one like I wanted. What in the absolute hell is going on? Oh, baby. That one really sounded sad. Alright. <clears throat> to infinity and beyond! It's time for security. Now, there's one more area that I haven't shown you. That's top of the tree. This is the highest tree in all of Minecraft. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool how it's purple. That's because I went in and individually painted each one of the pixels. Uh, it took me forever. So anyway, this is the highest tree. As you can tell, I'm pretty sure it's a spruce tree. Dang, that's not working out. Uh, I hate you, baby. So, uh, yeah, I kind of doubled up and went all punkadella rock. It would have been exactly as tall as this tree. And that other tree. On my baby's island. Uh, but it actually double donked it right there. So, we could do something with this. I can't even fathom or imagine what. Playing a tree on a tree. <sighs> Alright, baby. Come on up, kitties. I want some. Me time. Well, it's almost night, which means we get to go to sleep. Hey, I hear you, girl. Pussy cat, pussy cat. Where are you? 
Oh. All right, there we go. There's one of them. Okay, you can't jump over a fence. Where are you, baby? Did you fall? So I'm not gonna lie, probably 30% of the cats fell to their death. Hey, baby. And uh, yeah. Because they're pretty good at path fighting. There were just so many of them, it was chaos. So that's why I built a fence. They started out, there were sheep up here. I don't know where they went. Anyway. <clears throat> See, look, they're good at path finding. They just kind of like play predator on each other and end up falling off. It's pretty sad. I wish there were mice. That would be a cool feature. Even smaller. But yeah, these are my pets, my wife, and my babies. I didn't mean to hurt you, but uh, the thing is, now that I'm married to all these cats, I, I feel a lot better now. I mean, Bedlam has really paid off, the cult of Bedlam. I got 99 wives, dog. It's so cool. And I am also by proxy. So, yeah. We haven't built a single thing, we've just explored. So, uh, yeah. Not much going on. Uh, you know, just rocking in the free world. Hey, baby. I mean, it's not weird. Oh, there you go. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> but it is Minecraft. So, if you already think Minecraft is weird, then it might be weird that I married a bunch of cats. But they have just absolutely taken over the server. I know, it's nuts. But, I'm sorry. Sorry. But, um, yeah. The thing is, I wanted cats. But she didn't. Who is she? I don't know. I'm just joking. And, so... I thought, you know what, I'm going to invest in the microtransactions, however many penny, half cents it takes to render these freaking lives, these little kitties, forever. And, uh, because I won't kill a cat, even though it's my girl. Um, and, uh, they have just absolutely stolen my heart. I swear to God that I'm going to have to go to another island pretty soon. Mm. <laughs> because they're everywhere. But, uh, you know, I don't think any of them have even ended up in jail yet, which is a remarkable, remarkable sign of the uh, audacity of the virtue of cat life. Man, those are some big ass trees. You know, that's, that's what's crazy is the fact that I planted all these different trees. There's a lot of variety in the stuff. So, uh, I mean, it was a good decision to just load my inventory bar with saplings and go like, boop, 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 like Father Time. I mean, Abraham. <clears throat> so, uh, anyway. You, we, we all know that's a vast inner network of tunnels and jails. Jail cells. But, um, that's just my planet, you know? I mean, that's just how it works in this town, in this town. Which is actually a town. Uh, most people's Minecraft servers aren't actually towns, which is ironic because they're full of people. So there you go. Ah, yeah, I remember playing these sunflowers. I didn't know that they would be raspberry maroon, but I thought they would be sunflowers. So I got all these extra saplings that didn't take off. I don't know what the algorithm is for the tree growth. Oh shit, I don't want water. There's already way too much water. But, uh, like, probably most of them grow if there's nothing above them. But some of them don't grow. Oh, there's another one. Sunflowers, too. This is spear grass. I think it's, yeah, it's. Underwater. That's just <clears throat> That's very nice. I mean <laughs> I have an aquarium, I might as well do it because it's in foliage. Yeah. I have a bed, no, this is a shame. 
Oh, hey, baby. Oh, man, you are totally stupid. Even though you can get out, I'm going to help you. Oh, no, they hate the water. Gee, they don't pass line through the water. Oh, uh, okay, I finally revealed my true nature. I'm sorry, baby. What the fuck? God, there's more cats down there, dude. What in the fuck is going on? This is like some weird Mission Impossible type spy shit. Okay. Boom, boom. I'm going through the secret base. Robots are right behind me. Take your face off. Alright, well, it looks like we've reached the end of the road. Nope. Oh, yeah. That was my joke. I already been here before. Uh, there's some more salmon. God, what was I doing when I fucking planted the salmon? I was not thinking clearly. It was like I debated the cats. Paying for the cats because it costs money. Like tiny amounts of money. In my mind. But then I go and I freaking load every inner city stream with salmon. <sighs> this was my reading area, but then I realized you can't read in Minecraft. So. <whistles> oh yeah, see, I was totally thinking reading that. It looks like a laboratory in space, but it's a book, it's a bookcase. I was like, I had a book, and I was like, can I write in it? And then I put the bookcase down, and you can't even put the book on the bookshelf. Stupid. Tarzan. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've pillaged, but... We're not, it's not like we're rich now or nothing. It really felt like we were tripping acid there for a second. Y'all really thought I had a girlfriend on Minecraft. Nah. Never did. Never will. Nah, I've had a girlfriend before. But, uh, yeah, when I play Minecraft, I just think, you know, maybe I should get some lines. Oh, what's a peony? Oh, it's a type of fun. Hold on. I screwed this up, so I gotta fix it. Uh, peony. Is that dirt? It should plant right there. How did I get all these flowers in here? I don't know. Hot bar, and they're not. Is I just want to fly away. I want to fly away. <laughs> just like that. Is it my new Angelo? No, it's Who sings I Oh, I remember Toriyama. Anyway. Yeah, I made this little this little area for no reason. Well, actually, I had a very good reason. This. Well, I think it was a viewing deck for the uh, jail, because a lot of the inhabitants of the jail seem to be digging this area right now, and I think it's kind of hot. So I built a deck. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I have a shame about saying that. For I believe he's right as a man. So, I, yeah, and then we've got the <laughs> garden, the jail garden. It's like over here, and it's atrociously ugly. And uh, the bamboo cane are like jail bars. You can't walk through them, through them but you can get in between. And I think it's flooding. Oh, no, I just never know where the hell I am. I don't know what the hell happened. Three, three, I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Boom. It's like something comes behind me and keeps, like, killing tiles or something. Like, I don't know who does it, but, like, every time I show up, I'm looking around and I'm like, Whoa, dude, what is that? And, like, whew, fall through. And all of a sudden, I'm in Atlantis jail. Looking for the escape, finding all these weird-ass fishes. What kind of lives do you guys live in? No, for real. Well, I know there's a way out. I built this jail. No, 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 no. It's right near the entrance. Wait, this is the way in. 
even deeper in jail. A bigger problem now than it was before. It, this place, I don't know why, it reminds me of Hogwarts. But I'm gonna tell you why it actually is in the jazz. Because this is right when it started making me think that. It's because of the, uh, the bedroom at the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> is covered in weed. See, this is where I sleep here. And for some reason, that just made me think Harry Potter because I know weed is legal in Harry Potter. And they grow it in their bedroom. So, it's not dying. Now I have to get out of this shithole. I just want to make it easier, but I don't want to ruin the vibe, you know? So I'm just going to space me. Space man for a reason. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and this guy. Jeez, he's so annoying. I've been trying to get him to go up here in the land, like where he needs to be. But he's constantly swimming out to sea with his llamas. I don't know. I'm just gonna wait up here for my baby. Kind of makes me sad. Not a lot of things make me sad except for I miss the chance and opportunity to nuzzle up with my baby doll when I just married her and all her little sisters. Um, I subsequently married. But uh, I don't want to leave my little area. I just want to stay in the bedroom and cry because, you know, it's sad. and. I'm the highest thing in my life. What is that? Well, anyway. Um, being in a tower and living in a bedroom with my new kitten wives is the greatest thing in life. Um, I like being this tall and I like being in space. So I guess you could say I'm a big space giant. And that's it for my show guys I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm gonna go figure out what that thing is oh it's clouds wow just by the single clouds okay yeah. Um, yeah so there's not much you can really do in bedroom that's kind of the problem that's why a lot of people end up in jail and I'm not gonna lie that jail was built for fish but I see a lot of strange looking moves in there. But otherwise, we probably have a job and a car and... Oh, hey, baby. And, uh... Oh, Bedlam House! Yay! Have we been here before? Uh, anyway. So, yeah, there's a lot of really weird guys over there at that Atlantis jail. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I think one of them might be gay. I can't really say for certain. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> Did I seriously not design a way to get up to my bedroom? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, the jail has a lot of strange things going on over there. Like, did you see the way those turtles were... Is it almost time? Yes, it is. All right. Well, that's the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hello, and welcome to my show, the Radiohead Channel. Alright, well, today, I've actually been doing a lot. I've been real productive, and I'd like to say that I think I'm going to be alright. Now, it takes just a little bit of time to load my server. A little bit of time that I certainly do have. Alright, well, there's nothing wrong with being right, and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of wrongness in this right. So I want you to know that I have an idea, 
and it's a good one. Now there's certain philosophical context that I should explore before I give you what is this idea. First, I think you should know. My car is very fast. So, I've been inside all day quarantining thanks to COVID-19. And it turns out that there is a uh, festering viral plague outside, which means that anything could happen. We could all get sick and have to go to the hospital. And so I think it's best if I just stay inside here. In my home. I don't think I'm ever really going to leave. So I don't think I'm ever going to really need to have to. Because I've got everything I really need inside of this house right here. Okay? Now, come with me. Let's go to Bedlam and beyond! Alright. Well, it turns out that my house is a little bit different than it was yesterday. Now, I'm not going to say that a bunch of people came in and redesigned it or nothing. Because that's not what happened. So why would I say that? What? What? Anyway, so I realized that I'm going to have to live here, you know what I mean? What? And what? And, um, what? I'm sorry, I, I can't figure this shit out. See? See, he's got an arrow, but there's no way that I'll be able to get it. Oh, I died and there's a huge hole in my wall. Okay, well, that's all right. So here's basically the problem now. <clears throat> Is that that viral plague that I said that was outside, well, I found it. It destroyed my house. And there's an onslaught of zombies coming. Okay, cool. Good day. Good day so far. All right. Well, I'm going to go over here for just a sec. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, anyway. I don't think there's anything wrong with smoking cigarettes. I just don't want to have to do that. So... Anyway, it turns out that living in Bedlam has been one of the greatest things that could ever happen to me. And I'll tell you why. Because I have made so much money. And I have met so many squid. And you know, squid are really cool people. And, um... I met, like, for example, I met this one squid that hasn't hurt me at all. I don't think. Uh, for the most part. And uh, he lives just right outside my house in the ocean. So, that was cool. And, um, there's been a lot of magenta banners being thrown around. I'm not saying magenta is my favorite color. But I did have 48 banners at one point. Crap. Oh, yeah, they've got bows and arrows. I forgot. I was wondering how they were getting me. I was like, personal bubble, man. Two words you didn't learn in the second grade. Great. Well, uh, it appears that I'm safe here in my house for now. But I'm just going to take extra precautions. Oh, shit. You know, you try to lock yourself in a bubble and you can't even do that. You think I'll survive this time? I see, I can't see the screen well enough. Oh, this is really, really depressing. And I just don't know what to do. Well, anyway. Hey, man. Where'd you go? 
Oh my god, they keep leaving the house after they freaking get me? It's like, how rude can you be? Alright, let me clean up just a little bit. Oh my god. I mean, being a single dude that lives in an apartment, I'm not saying that the zombies are annoying. Oh, ah! What? They got bows again? Oh, man. A Caesar, I am not. I died in the same corner. Well, this is becoming a habit. Uh, it seems like I die every night. No. Well, anyway. Um, that's a jack-o'-lantern. God, I just gotta dig some dirt up and build my walls back. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me some new marble screen TV? Alright. I'll never do that again, I promise you. Well, I destroyed the wall that I'm building. Alright, whatever. And the floor. We'll see, I'm trying to get down there. Oh, oh, here we go. I just can't see right. Okay. Well, screw that one up. Look at that arrow. That was aimed right for my bed. Is that it? Is that a throwing star? No, that's an arrow, too. Anyway. Lots of violence in Bedlam. That's why they have that gym. Don't say it. I try not to talk about the fact that I live right next to a jail. Think I have enough pieces? I mean, sand isn't exactly a great thing to build your house out of. But it works. And after this, I have a little surprise. Oh my gosh. Well, this house is going to look great when it's done. And maybe when we're done, we can have a party or something. I don't know. Not like I live here. I'm not the one who calls the shots. Actually, I am, and I do, and I will, and I won't. I mean, we're going to have a party, but I'm not going to make an ass of myself like last time. Okay, guys? Ha, ha, ha. Well, anyway, I got super drunk last night and dug all the floor down one layer. <laughs> See my bed? Yeah, that used to be on the ground, but I got frisky last night. <clears throat> it's nothing like smoking a cigarette. I just want you to know that you should probably locate your pack and find a lighter because it's time. If you can't smoke inside, pause that video. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just recently quit with the help of chantings. And they found efficient and Eliminating cravings, nicotine, and cigarettes. Anyway, it's been pretty great. I feel amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I have a big old good ass idea in this home, in hell, and that is to dig more dirt off the ground. <laughs> My house. So that's always a good idea. I mean, oh shit! Unless you freaking put a hole in your house, in your wall. Anyway, picking up the dirt on the ground in your house and digging them layers off gives you more living area in the long run. Even though you're only two blocks tall, you're sure going to appreciate that extra ceiling space when it comes to moving around and jumping. Well, I'm not going to sing ever again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, it looks weird now, but just bear with me when I'm done. It's going to be great, man. Oh, that's my bed. Okay. 
Now, last time I had the door up on stilts like that, but I moved it down because I had a lick of sense. Because if you have a door that is uh, elevated just as tall as you are, that's no longer a door, my friend. That's, that's suddenly becoming a hatch. So. Uh, yeah, guys. I don't think there's anything wrong with smoking, but I'm never going to do it again. Ever. Ha. Huh. Ha. <laughs> Alright. I thought that was water. Well, anyway. Uh, it's pretty oppressive looking because all the sand on this island. But anyway, there's so you can get out. And so, where's my door? Alright. Boom. Now, you'll notice I'm a lot more poor than I was. That's because I did not sign a prenup. Every single one of my wives divorced me, one in a court of law, meaning they equally shared every bit of money that I had earned up. I had unlimited bricks. I could freaking fly, man. I was a billionaire, dude. Those freaking kitties took me for everything I have, and I'm going to get them back. You know how? I'm going to abuse my power as operator of this server. And I'm gonna go back to Bedlam, my friends. I'm gonna go back to Bedlam! <laughs> sure you missed my flying powers. Alright, back to the house to strategize. So, <sighs> I want my money back. I, oh no, shoot. Uh oh, uh oh. It's all right. Nothing, nothing too bad, really. I think I could just put some dirt right there. Uh oh, it's still flowing. Right there. Now, it should just all drain away, yep. The magic of Minecraft. Alright, so that gives me an idea. Now, we've all known for a long time now that Bedlam has a water problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to finally flood that entire prison system island. Minecraft fully rendered 3D physical water. It's gonna suck for all those kitties, but you know what? They're mindless to me. I have a bed now. And a house. I don't need cats. So, we're gonna try to do this without any tools. Without unlimited bricks, because they took all our money, apparently. I don't know. I woke up here. And we're going to flood the shit out of the entire island. Let's go. What? Uh, I shot myself in my own foot. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's dark. we got to go to sleep. Oh, I can't see anything with my new glasses. Alright. Oh, my... Okay. You know, the sand is a really weird Minecraft thing. Wait, did that bed just... Okay, I'm tripping balls. I think it's the power trip. Oh, no, it's because I dug my floor down. Alright, well, that's good. Alright, until morning, my darlings. Alright. I'm going to do this in third person. Alright, he was a hero, he married so many cats, and he turned into one, now he's going to flood their entire island, and he's got a good plan for doing so, because he's playing Minecraft.
he's stuck in his house. Alright, I see those stupid... I mean, he sees those idiot fools as they wait there on their island. He hides behind his magenta banner. No, he doesn't hide. He proudly waits. Looks on all that he's built with his bare hands. Not unlimited blocks. He prepares to flood the crap out of the whole dang place. And you know what's cool? Is he doesn't know if it's gonna work. Because you know he's all up really high in the air. But he's gonna figure it out. And that's what's so Wait, no, you can't flood anything that's above the water level. <sighs> Man, I really don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, anything could happen, really. <clears throat> hmm. Well, there's one thing I know for certain. is that jail is a bad place to be. And I never want to end up there, no matter what. If I ever find some type of law enforcement officer who wants to take me to jail, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be very worried myself. And I'm not going to know what to do. And, you know, if I ever wind up in some dangerous position, and it turns out that I end up going to prison, I just want my mom to know, and my cats, too, that I went there by choice. Yeah, because I'm a bad mother fricker. And... As long as I... Here we are. We're in Atlanta's jail again. Great. Well, it looks like you can't survive in Atlanta's jail without survive creative mode turned on. So, I just died in prison. Wow. Free nups be damned. I guess that's it for our show. I thought I was going to get revenge. And I ended up dying in jail. So, I guess that's just the legendary old masters for you i mean they really had that crap figured out they're not going to let some rejected bachelor come in and flood their whole island hell i didn't even get make it over there before i realized it wasn't going to work and then i was just hanging out went to jail and died oh my god screw that island i'm never going back i don't even want to see that place again jeez i'm building a school and a church on my island. Screw Bedlam and screw those cats. And you know what? I didn't see a single freaking cat the whole time I was over there. I bet they all ran into the dungeon. I bet they're all having freaky cat boom. And I just can't even believe it. You know what? I think my house looks cooler anyway. So yeah. I I'm gonna be rich, man. I'm going to have unlimited blocks, and I'm going to be able to fly, I'm going to be a billionaire here in Minecraft world, and, you know, it's pretty cool living on the Bedlam, but I think I'm done with it, you know, I mean, hold on, gosh, that freaking zombie. I really want to kill it. Uh, what am I going to do? Okay, so you can hide from zombies in water. Just figure that out. But, uh... School and a church. Man, that really sounds like a good idea. But then I get and I am the operator of this server. Which means I can do anything I want. So maybe at this point... I should just...
partnered on Create. Whoa! I'm a billionaire again! Yeah! And you know what? I think I want to get married too. I'm gonna go up to my bedroom and make sure that there's nothing up there. Suspicious. Oh, this place is nice. You know, I miss this place a lot. I miss Bedlam. And I think that as long as I can find me a good cat and settle down, that this could work out. You know what? I'm even going to switch to first person and change my spine location. I know it's a big commitment. You think I should do it? Yeah, because that's our episode. Thanks, guys. And I want you to know that Bedlam always welcomes you as long as you get a good night's rest. Thank you. From this jaguar man to the next. Land of the prison archipelago. Bedlam Island. Welcome to Space Jail. Low res. Thanks very much. Hey guys. And welcome to my show. Radiohead channel. Now, I really don't have any idea what's gonna happen. So, basically, I just got promoted to Death Star Captain. And there's not many captains of the Death Star, let me just tell you that much. Now, as a captain of the Death Star, I have responsibilities over 70 thousand stormtroopers and I also utilize the dark side in order to take over small planets for economic purposes uh, and uh, I'd just like to say that the Death Star is gonna be really great from now on guys and I have long wanted an opportunity to lead the Empire on such an important uh, space ship as this. Um, and I think that it does look like a moon, but it packs the punch of a sun. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the bright laser beam... Wait a second. What's, what's that off over there in the desert? Hold on, I, I have to do a little bit of police work and see if there's any strapping young women that need help over there. Oh, I, sorry, I have my jetpack on. Alright. <clears throat> well, anyway, this is my home planet, Bedlam. And I ruled here for several many long years until I was recognized for my talent in uh, Doctor stuff and then they realized quickly as soon as they found out that I was a doctor that I could lead oh hey Katie uh, <coughs> well anyway the uh, <coughs> the entire community of Bedlam really really accepted me with open arms and I think it's because they recognize the power of the dark side inside of me. And, um, I, we, you know, and them all overcame many tough challenges. And, uh, basically, the, uh, wow. Um, whoever designed this was really clever because, well, uh, the... The biggest problem that we ran into were those pesky sea creatures. And uh, they tend to hang out underwater, and so we tried to find them accommodation, if you understand. Look, you can see them over there. Um, but uh, then this strange homosexual man, uh, he arrived on the island last night, and uh, he was talking gibberish and looked pretty confused. Uh, but we found him a place as well in Bedlam, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's really, 
a great, wholesome community, you know what I mean. And, uh, anyway, let's go over here to... Wait, hold I sense danger. I wonder where it is. I, I can sense danger. Let me turn on my jetpack and look over here. Are there any... Kashyyyks? Oh no, that's a planet. Are there any wombats? Okay, let's see over here. I wonder what kind of trouble we... Okay. I don't see anything from my perch perspective. Maybe if I looked over here... Something would happen. Hmm. Well, I think the danger is past. We'll keep an eye open for any invading aliens. But for the most part, I think we're pretty much safe. <laughs> hey, kitty. All right, all right, all right. Moving on. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it reminds me of the uh, time that I met a Sith Lord on the way to the grocery store one time. And it turns out that they knew who I was for my entire life. And I was just a young Bedlam lad. And at that time. So I didn't know about leadership. Almighty virtuous revenge power. But um, there was something about him that made me think maybe, you know, maybe there's something to this dark side. So, anyway, that's when I found my lightsaber and began a quest. Oh, right, I don't use lightsabers anymore. Uh, never mind. So, uh, I understand there's going to be little rebellions, and there's going to be parties that include a lot of un-Empire-like debauchery on here on the Death Star. Um, I, I think that's just part of something we'll all have to overcome together. And part of the way I'm going to do that, of course, is with, uh, oh shit, I slapped her right in the face. Well, it was intentional. Uh, part of the way that we're going to do that is through judicious incarceration. So, for example, see, this stormtrooper here, he's just watching over Bedlam. He's not doing anything wrong. Okay? Now, in contrast, I want you to look over here at this denizen that I've been keeping my eye on for quite a while. Let's see if he's still around. So, I saw this sucker lurking on the bo at the bottom of the stream, and I realized he's been there for days and he hasn't even moved. And I took a closer look. See, at first I thought that it was one of the many cats in Bedlam. And, uh, it turns out, I think that's him right there. Yep. It was actually a cod. And there's nothing we can do because, see, he's blocked. Look at it. Come here. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Hey. He's blocking the tile that I need to fill to get him out of the hole that he's in. Isn't that fucking just classic plebeians anyway I'm not saying this cod is a piece of shit I'm just saying is it it would only take a couple of minutes I could mine a little stream on over down to Bedlam jail and we could spend a night thinking about what we're doing with our life at this point okay. so anyway I'm not trying to like encourage you but you really need to get out of that tile. 
Okay, so I'm torn between two options, and now we can do both things. Uh, first of all, what I want to do is uh, <clears throat> just check out that individual that we saw creeping up on the island last night, make sure he's not currently causing anybody trouble over there in his little fag shack and uh, maybe if we have to route over onto the jail for a second <sighs> man you know I'm pretty psyched about leading the Death Star but uh, Benham is just such a huge responsibility that I would honestly, I did not predict in any way, shape, or form that I was going to be given leadership control over the entire space station. Um, just because of the amount of respect that I have here in Bedlam. So, uh, I'm not really sure what's going to happen uh, once we start talking politics of the other planets. Uh, I know Bedlam uh, is having a, uh, a tax fair for anybody who joins the server and builds a house for a cat. So uh, you can you can save a lot of money on your income taxes uh, if you join my server and uh, play with me. Oh, oh, oh man, I need to take it. Alright, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to take a short little reset button here, and uh, then we're going to go check out the homosexual, and possibly, if anything, you know, happens, take him to jail. Alright, where's my bed? It looks kind of spacey. Alright. I should probably turn off my god powers so I don't intimidate the guy. Let's see, sweetheart. I don't want to make it all crazy. Let's see, what can I do for a little bit of fun in here? Well, first of all, I bought some new specs, and they are improving my ability to see the road by over 110%. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, can I fly? No. All right, this is crazy. Now, um, the Death Star, it turns out, has a lot of transient aliens on board, which is basically, it means that those people don't work for the Death Star, but um, they have a uh, entitlement to uh, live there, destroy planets, and then subsequently pillage them. That's actually why we do it, is uh, in case we kill everybody, uh, we can just unload the transient aliens onto the planet and uh, use them for uh, the economic purposes of the Empire. All right. Well, you know, I really don't like this music, so I'm gonna turn it up. Let's go, guys. I'm ready for this adventure. How long do I have? Uh, I got about 15 minutes to rock this little faggot's world. Just kidding. Just kidding. I uh, recently quit smoking, and I've been blurting out expletives like uh, like I have Tourette's. So, uh, anyway, go for a swim. I kind of want to show up from behind, or, get, you know, approach the island, but, uh, I'm not sure if he's home, so, I really want to gather as much evidence as I can about this guy and see what kind of planet he's from, what he's doing here in Bedlam. 
what made him gay, if he plans to have sex with any of the cats here, you know, stuff like that. And it's all this same kind of stuff that I'm going to be doing on the Death Star. <clears throat> Is it, is it wombat? No, it's they aren't called wombats. They're called uh, those little wookies, the uh, the tiny monkeys that live in the forest. Yeah, we're thinking about getting those. Uh, one of the first planets we're actually going to visit is Kashyyyk, and we're going to uh, abduct some wookies and, and maybe get them some a job at the jail. <clears throat> Alright. Patch up the ground over here. You know, I never I never take this way. It was designed to uh, as a back access area uh, 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 for the the shitty garden. I'm sorry, it's not shitty. But uh I mean the uh, the jail garden. <clears throat> the garden the smoking area. All right. This is where which we're behind. Uh, Path going. Okay, so there's that island. I need my compass. Oh, plus that'll probably intimidate him, so I could grab it. Except for the fact that I'm, I don't have enough money. All right. So anyway, the Jedi use lightsabers. We don't use lightsabers, and we understand the dark side. Now, those are important points to consider when uh, pledging your allegiance to the dark side. Because those advantages will... Oh, shit. I forgot. Okay, well, we're having a problem now because I don't know where I'm going to spawn. Uh, anyway, resurrection was one of the things that they gave me as soon as I was given... Uh, Space station they know, they call the Death Star. So uh, anyway, the dark side has spoke to me and said that that death was an inevitable, inescapable conclusion of the path of the journey which I had beset myself upon this day. And there's going to be even more of that kind of poetry. Uh, when I'm boss of the Death Star, so, yeah. Ah, <sighs> man. You know, I'm just really depressed because I haven't been taking my space pills, and I, I've been hallucinating. Uh, like, aliens! And I know, I know that most aliens are accounted for, and I don't have anything to be afraid of, but, you know, I mean, there's gotta be other galaxies out there. And who's to say there's not aliens there? You know? And so, I just feel strongly that as the leader of the Death Star, if any aliens ever come to our galaxy, that I'm not going to be, I'm not going to hesitate for even one second when it comes to killing those aliens. I mean, I'm not saying... That all I do is kill aliens. Uh, shit. But there is a problem that I have, and that's that I just got disconnected from the server. Well, you know what? I don't think that's cool. Because if it was, then a bunch of people would be clapping right now. And if people could clap then we'd have a good time because clapping is where it's at and being funny is hard so that's just kind of where I'm at in my life right now um, you know there's not much that I can really do in order to uh, figure out my problems uh, it turns out that biggest issue that I have is actually the Jedi right now. They've been uh, 
really, really trying to get you around. And, uh, turns out that, uh, nobody knows what to do in my whole family. So, when you say, you know, like, what are you going to do about the Jedi, you know? Well, you think that your, your Sith Master is going to tell you what to do. Exactly, exactly what to do so that you and your people and your family don't die. Uh, for me, though, it's, it's always been just a little bit more difficult because Yoda killed my dad. And, uh, you know, as uh, a Sith, you know, I, I don't think, I don't think that I'm down with the light side. You know what, I, I know that I'm actually down down with the dark side. So, yeah, that's just my personal philosophy on the subject. And uh, this is just a preview. This is my simulation program. Sorry, my, my planet kind of failed. Uh, this is just a simulation of the uh, Death Star, the changes to the Death Star that we're going to be making. And uh, there's going to be a lot of water, as you can tell. And the water is going to be like kind of like wet and wild world. You know what I mean? And it's like a theme park. So that'll be. Now, I gotta get out of this place because it's freaking toxic. Claustrophobic. I swear. Now, I'm just gonna do one more thing, and that's check on my friend. Make sure that he's got uh, a lot of good water to drink and food to eat. <sighs> kind of maybe ask him about his love life and see if he wants to go to jail today. Just, just for a, just for a tour, you know, not like really like, go to jail and get stuck there and die and stuff. Well, good. We're almost there. You know what's kind of crazy about Bedlam is uh, the Empire never gave us much of a budget. <laughs> so we don't pay any money for the uh, internet on our planet. We actually get it Wi-Fi from uh, Kashyyyk. So we're going we're gonna to definitely be using the Death Star to steal all their wombats. Uh, gosh, I am so excited to meet this gay guy. I hope he doesn't flirt with me, but I kind of hope he compliments my looks. <clears throat> so anyway, the planet is back online. And I just want to say, as a dark side agent officer of the space station known as the Death Star, that... You must obey me, no matter what. And there's nothing that you can do or say to ever stop that from being the case. And I'm sorry, but if your family's not dead now, they will be soon, and so will you, unless you obey. I think that's what I'm gonna tell them. I don't know, man. I mean, I just like, I just feel so powerful. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my fucking God, he's in there. What am I gonna do? I can't even believe that this. Oh, well, I gotta figure out his name real fast. I mean, who the fuck shows up on my planet? Oh, God, I'm getting attacked, fucking with my HUD. Who the fuck shows up on my planet? Oh my God, I'm dead soon. Uh oh, I died. Oh my God, I gotta fight. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Man, it really makes you appreciate having a billion dollars. Okay, so there's one more thing that we're going to do because we've only got two minutes left. And I don't want to take you any more of your time up than I have to, okay, baby? And the Death Star is going to be great, so yeah, let's just get ready for that shit now. Let's see who this fag is. Alright, let's go.
boom, I'm running fast, I'm flying, I'm in space, and I'm a planeteer, and I'm gonna go over here and see how this guy's doing, and maybe bust him up a little bit, but I don't know how to force him to go to jail, because this is Minecraft, but let's see what he has to say, okay, I'm the leader of the Death Star, there's nothing he can do, so, I, oh my god, does it say Caesar Nate? uh oh, Oh no, this is bad. He's gonna invade the planet. There's nothing we can do. What's gonna happen? Caesar Naples, the ruler of planets, there is here. And he has a cool ass looking house. Oh my god, he's gonna marry all the cats. What's happening? What's going on? What? Oh my. Oh, look. Is he. Is he high or something? Hello? What's up, nosebody? Oh my god, this sucks so fucking bad. What am I going to do? I'm not a very good leader. I, I'm not Caesar Naples. Maybe he could lead the Death Star. What are we going to do? Oh my god, I'm so freaking scared. I don't know. I don't know how to think. I don't know what to do. And I'm just scared. I don't know why. I don't know what. Hey guys. Welcome to my show, Radiohead Channel. Um... Well, what you're looking at is the foundation of a new hospital. Okay, well, I want to tell you guys, something happened. Uh, shoot. I don't know what. Uh, well, there could have been some type of Bitcoin transaction that happened on the dark web that caused an agent to come in and destroy all of my uh, stuff. Or, there could have just been some type of problem that happened with, uh, wait a second, how am I going to get out of here? Oh my gosh, I started having panic attacks for a second there, but uh, it looks like I <laughs> get to go over here. And, uh, so basically, yeah, the, uh, ho, 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 this is cool. Uh, it looks like the earth is flat, everybody, <laughs> and there's a room on the other side of the freaking planet. Ah, jeez. Well, this was going to be my sad I quit YouTube story, but it looks pretty freaking awesome at this point. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is just the concrete foundation for a new mental hospital that I, freak, it looks so good I didn't even want to touch the walls. And, um... It's got funding from some of the higher-ups at Microsoft, which is to say somebody or somebody like Bill Gates. Wow. Uh, anyway, the uh, <clears throat> fact is is that I just remembered once again that I cannot get out of this freaking place. So, uh, yeah, we're not having a problem. It's just that that is the problem. And, uh, whoa, this is weird. Uh, but, anyway... <clears throat> I'm not having a problem if you're having a problem. I mean, not. I mean, if you're not having a problem, then I'm having a problem. So, it's no big deal. And, uh, <laughs> I just had that uh, another panic attack, a little brief flat. I've had so many panic attacks in my life. So, basically, I just realized that not only could I not get out of that previous area, but I similarly can't get out of this area, and it's a lot darker. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I didn't realize that you could break a Minecraft game server. Uh, everything like this. Uh, there's nothing I can do. And I'm going to go uh, try to cry off camera. <sighs> mm, I don't know really what to do at this point. Um, it looks pretty dark and scary. See, here's the problem is that uh, <clears throat> we're on survival and we have nothing in our inventory and we can't see so yeah i mean it's not a big deal we're just at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> so we're doing good we're doing good it's okay it's okay i I'm, i mean i know i was stuck before but i can't see anything now <laughs> and uh yeah well i hope you enjoyed our show um i am really looking forward to this new mental hospital um, there's going to be a lot of a lot of players. 64, Nintendo 64, Sony PlayStation graphics. Um, yeah, there's nothing like a good mental hospital. Uh, um, <clears throat> anyway, 
as you can tell from our previous videos, uh, there's a lot going on in Bedlam Town that you need to really try to check out as soon as freaking possible because, oh my god, there's nothing we can do. I really thought I could do something about this. See, I've, I prepared for the show and I was like, oh, you know, I'll just check my god powers and make sure that everything's working all right. Well, <laughs> it turns out, look, I can't switch it to creative. Let's try adventure. Well, anyway, I don't know who hacked the hell out of my server, but it was on Microsoft and it was super secure. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, what happened, or <sighs> what's going on. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed my show. Uh, that's it for today. Um, the mental hospital is going to be great, dude. I mean, oh, is that some light? Uh, oh, I'm back in the first cave I was stuck in. Okay. Now, as long as I just go in a straight line and walk up and hold the space bar. Anyway, I mean, there's nothing like... This is not going to happen to our patients. This is just a, this is just the foundation for the building, and it's concrete, so I can't... Uh, well, you know, I've got that... A guy that's on the island over there that he I can call him he could log in and maybe try to build me some type of contraption or something I'm really freaking panicking right now because I got I don't have any idea who's working today or tonight I guess not that I can see the sky um, but yeah it's been it's been a great couple of days over at Bedlam uh, the whole team is just really proud of the work that we've accomplished uh, in promoting Nosebody Legroom to captain of the Death Star. Uh, he did great with the, with the simulation that he thought was real yesterday and um, he's going to be the mayor of Bedlam now. Uh, <clears throat> of course uh, the server uh is uh, for support purposes, uh, mental health and clients. Well, not clients, I just like to say clients because uh, I can't exactly say patients. <laughs> uh, hospital humor. Uh, there's more where that came from, and you're going back there too, so anyway. Uh, I really, I'm not very good at Minecraft, and I don't know how, what the hell to do, and if this was a live stream, I guess I could ask you guys for some comments or something on how to get the hell out of situation uh, but anyway yeah we've got survival oriented uh, recovery um, the uh, as you know we've introduced you to the island it's a real mind fuck head trip uh, shit show <laughs> in the third dimension but uh, you know uh, the the server will be backed up at night uh, around 6 30 and then uh, overnight it's all bedlam um, and then uh, in the morning we're gonna just back it up again you know uh, every day for 10 months and we're gonna see how that goes that's we only have funding for 10 months I'm not trying to tell you that you're gonna be here for a long time exactly uh, but there's nothing you can do so uh, yeah it's looking pretty scary for me because I didn't think I was going to get trapped in here. I was just giving you guys a tour. In fact, I just logged into the server right before I started the video, so I didn't know that they deleted Bedlam. And I don't know how it happened or what the hell is even freaking going on. So, yeah, this is crazy. And uh, <laughs> I genuinely hope that I can get a hold of security because I need some type of, like, Ivy to, or something so I can Tarzan out. Well, there's absolutely nothing I can freaking do, and I'm actually kind of starting to get a little bit scared now because I don't know um, if this server, you know, it hasn't opened up yet, so I'm not really sure. Uh, damn, it's dark. Huh. Shit, this is kind of crazy, guys. I just died. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, you see that floating horse up there? That I think that's a skeleton horse. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, it looks good and stuff, but there's nothing wrong with that, so. I just don't know why I have a, oh my gosh, I just found my freaking CD player, hold on. 
Yeah, I, I know. I was panicking too, but I mean, hell, if I had to stay here all night... Hell, even if I have to stay here all weekend, I mean, shit, you know, it's fucking Minecraft. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, yeah, I got a rad collection. I didn't bring, bring them all, obviously, but uh, there's just a lot, a lot to check out in the genre. And uh, being a uh, musician myself, of course, I don't think the band will ever stop. And uh, that's just because if it ever does, I psychologically, I'm really just not sure what is going to happen. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's my, here's my mixtape. It's an EP. I hope you enjoy. It's called Radiohead Channel by Nosebody Legroom. It's an alternate friend. That's, that's not it. That's not it. That's my phone, but that's definitely not what I thought it was. Uh, hold on, let me just double check this real fast. Um, intro.
he uh, founded an island, much like Bedroom, on the same Bedlam, on the same uh, server. So it looks like he, he started out, you know, at the Bedlam house and did a little bit of uh, whatever it is that orphans do and make themselves uh, able to cope. And once he found that boat, that super boat, you know, which I don't know what happened to the server. I don't know. It was cold, right? So it might, there might not be any more boats. I don't know. And uh, uh, found the boat and uh, looks like... Uh, Glad I backed up that server. Uh, they found the boat. What, what else happened? Oh yeah, they went and started a school and and, and a church. So yeah, success story right there. I swear, you know, it's just amazing what you can do on Minecraft. Uh, start a mental hospital and uh, all night. All Night Mental Hospital, uh, I was thinking about trying to save money and just not being open during the day. So, that'll be good. Uh, I've got six hours left of uh, hard drive space because I created an Infinity Squared Minecraft universe. Which is actually Infinity Infinity. So, it takes up, you know, about 400 megabytes and, I mean, gigabytes. Hard drive space left anyway. Um, so, yeah, there's just, you know, I'd like to be able to go and check it out and see what they're doing, but I guess they're having Wi-Fi problems over at Bedlam. Not really sure at this point. I'm just glad, uh, man, it just gives you a perspective on what those, uh, clients go through, because I did not think I was going to get out of there. I knew that 10 months, uh... In 10 months, they were, they were going to shut down the, the server. So, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, you know what? If they ended up changing the IP address to stop those gosh darn whatever, you know, American terrorists on uh, Minecraft Day, and, uh, you know, if, if, then I'm stuck in this server, you know, for 10 months. So, uh, yeah. I guess I probably should have learned how to play Minecraft before I joint, um, but it's not that important, it, it's just, uh, there's not going to be any pickaxes, uh, on, uh, the, uh, at first, right when you get there, but, you know, you can find one and ask around, see if anybody's got one or something like that, and maybe, you know, get yourself one, because, man, I, I promise you, the, the, the panic and fear that I felt was insurmountable, and, uh, I, well, I thought, you know, I just, I was thinking, eternal, 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 you know, and, so, yeah, I'm not, I don't know, I, it's not for the, yeah, it's for the patients, so, I mean, <laughs> I know that you're a patient to me, but uh, patiently, I get it, uh, patiently you will allow me to call you a client. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad today. It's not good either, because, uh, it looks like some type of Minecraft terrorist, uh-oh. I just kind of realized my mistake again, because I don't have a pickaxe creative mode. Or, Seen any yet? Track two, Buddha. Oh my gosh, I 
I would need to block, awesome. Well, my discard isn't, you know, dangerous. Oh, God, I should have made that one. Man, what am I going to do? Well, I'm stuck here forever now. I'm kind of having those eternal, eternity flashbacks again. Uh, you know, I can probably mine my way out of here. I have no idea how deep I am, and it takes about one, two, three, four, five, infinity seconds uh, to remove a brick, so I don't know what to do, honestly. I really don't want the water. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that lava is just going to be pretty quick. But yeah, it's no big deal. It's just, you know, you go in, you change some settings on your server's got property style and enter the task server and hopefully it's fine. I know what happened. I think I might know what happened is I, I, I reset my spawn point. Uh, died, reset the server, came back, the server's still fucked up. No, actually, I don't know what happened. I can't figure out what happened. I don't know why I'm on fire. Oh my gosh! How am I still burning? Okay, honestly, I low key tried to kill myself. And I'm in lava on fire. I don't know where I am. I don't know even what server I'm on. I don't remember who my mom was. I don't know how to go out to the dinner with the girl. I don't know what's going on. Hey guys, I can't get out of the lava. Sorry, I'm going super mode. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's no reason for hell to be in bedroom anymore because I just don't think we should do that. Okay, guys, I just don't see why this is happening. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> what did we learn? Okay, well, let's see. Now we still can't get the ability to break. Okay, well, you know, we lost it. I totally support uh, giving them money. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's the level of the arrow. I can tell you guys, I can tell you guys, I can tell you guys. Freaking uh, yeah, this is cool. I mean, I, I like the game. I just don't like the game play. Huh? Yeah. So uh, I've never been here before, and I've never come back. Honestly, I hope your server crashes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I don't know. I thought I was. I don't know what I thought. I thought I was coming to see a good server. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not like crazy. I've been taking my space drills or whatever. But uh, I think I'm in hell right now. I'm sorry. Just I do. I think I'm in hell. And I don't. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I know how to use an inventory, okay? Jesus. What's going on, guys? I can't see the road. I'm dying. I know what happened. <laughs> I know what happened. I updated my tick speed and died. Yeah, well, the server died. Something happened to the server. I'm not dead. I updated the tick speed. I was like, man, they're going to need to get on there in their phones and it's going to help them with the lag. But there is no lag. But if they have lag, it'll be cool because it'll make a cool effect. And it deleted the server. No, it didn't delete the server. The server, the server is never severed. Why did I say that once happened? never getting deleted. Okay, the server got deleted. And, uh, Bedlam Jail, welcome back. Alright, well, I just figured it out. And there's gonna be a big explosion pretty soon, so, no, uh, you know, there's not much you can learn about hell, uh, unless you go there. So, uh, join the Bedlam server.